Uh, and what is your card? It is death. And so you have a traitor in your midst, everyone. Chiron is trying to corrupt the ritual and will be working against you. The monsters will no longer see Chiron as a threat. So I still have my turn. Wait, do they know though? In character, do they know? They will know now. We're not going to cheese it and say that they are not. But uh, they will now see your betrayal. But you get an attack on them. Ah, it's not much. All right. I'll I'll just uh, attack uh, Osiris with a short sword. Osiris, does that 16 hit? That hits. Osiris falls. Osiris, uh, you do have an ally technically within five feet. What does that mean? Uh, he gets sneak attack damage. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm a one hit point either way. It doesn't matter. Yes. That could have outright killed, though. And now that he's down, I get advantage on my next attack, right? Uh, if you attack him again, you'll have advantage on him, yes. As your companion... Um, that is going to be a trick fail. <laughs> uh, that is going to be a miss. Damn, all right. Uh, as you turn around, Chiron, you raise your blade in a ritualistic fervor as you stab down upon your companion, Cyrus. As the two others begin to understand Karel and, and Luminar, that your companion, Chiron, is working with the dark powers. And no! Switches. And like, as I'm swinging my sword, I say, for the will of the master. And I look to him and I go, I should have left you in that library. I mean, you did. Now I'm going to leave you dead at my feet. It is now the spirits' turns, and they are going to appear. And they are going to start attacking as they lurch forward. And they dash on over. Bring us to Corel. Alright, I'm going to use my final first level spell slot to cast Magic Missile. Oh my goodness. <laughs> One Magic Missile is going at my, at the man I just rescued, <laughs> Iron. I told you to leave me in my defense. The other two are going to these two, uh, ghoul, th- er, spirit. They are completely destroyed and add a, a roll of 1d4 plus 1 on your companion. So two points of damage on Chiron. I was one HP, so I'm, yeah. The the masters, you succumb to the wounds as you laugh maniacally, knowing that your companions will perish. And in the afterlife, the master will have great plans for you. Awesome. Um. And it will be the next round. Uh, with the next round, uh, these creatures will be activated. I'm just putting them down, and they're going to move up. Uh, but then a third one rushes towards your companion, Cyrus, and plucks him up, throwing him, fif- dragging him 15 feet towards the mist. The next two attack your companion, Illuminar. And Illuminar, I'm going to need two athletics or acrobatics saving checks. A 22 and a 21. Acro 